A veteran is benefiting from a new best friend. It's all part of the Pets for Vets cause, a collaboration between Fulton Homes and Soldiers Best Friend. And they're looking for more veterans who could benefit from this program. Danielle Miller has a story. Veteran Tiny Hogan and his service dog Mabel have a very special bond. She helps remind me that I have a reason to be here sometimes. Um, you struggle with you know, things that you've done and things that happened. Tiny talking about all the things that happened while he served during war. That service left him with a traumatic brain injury and PTSD, something Mabel has helped him survive. I had never been to a mall here in 16 and a half years until I had to take Mabel as part of the training was you have to go to the mall. It's things like that, a simple trip to the mall for most of us, but a daunting task for those like Tiny. This is why executive director of Soldier's Best Friend, Mike Millam, says they do what they do. They feel isolated. There, there was this camaraderie and brotherhood and sisterhood overseas when they were with, um, when they were serving but now they come back and they feel alone and isolated and as if nobody understands them. The nonprofit Soldier's Best Friend pairs and trains veterans and the service dogs at no cost to the veteran. And it's not just the veterans getting some much needed help. The dogs all come from shelters right here in Arizona. With Mabel, it's uh, different because she needs me and um, I need her, but she needs me because who else is going to take care of her? Who else is going to let her sleep in the bed and take up the whole king size bed? If you know a veteran who could benefit, like Tiny, from this program, reach out to Soldier's Best Friend to nominate them. We have a link on our website, fox10phoenix.com. Danielle Miller, Fox 10 News.